In the next couple of weeks, we will be focusing on art that truly is three-dimensional. It actually has height, width, and depth, and not just the illusion of depth. The art vocabulary word for that is creating a sculpture. We are going to look at famous artists who create sculptures. After we've studied a few, you will choose one of them and create a sculpture in the style of that artist. Today, we're going to focus on an artist named Alexander Calder. I have only known about the work of Alexander Calder for a few years. I saw a video about how to use paper to create a sculpture using Calder's style on YouTube. Shortly after that, my husband and I took a trip to Seattle, Washington and visited the Olympic Sculpture Park, which is really hard to explain. It's sort of like a combination of a park and a museum that features a long zigzag walking path. Here is an overhead picture of the park. While we were in Olympic Sculpture Park, we came across a red metal piece by an artist named Alexander Calder. The sculpture is called the Eagle. Here are some closer pictures of it. What really caught our attention about this particular piece is that we recognized it. The Eagle was first owned by a bank in downtown Fort Worth. Here is what it looked like sitting in front of the Bank One building in downtown Fort Worth. Sometime in 1999 or early 2000, the Eagle disappeared from Fort Worth in the middle of the night. Many wondered where it had gone. We now know that the bank sold the piece to investors and it traveled to several different sites before we saw it again in Seattle. People in Fort Worth were very upset that the sculpture had disappeared. It actually may have been for the best though. Not long after the sculpture was removed, on March 20, 2000, downtown Fort Worth was hit by one of the worst tornadoes to strike in a downtown area. The Bank One Tower, which had been home to the Eagle just weeks before, took a direct hit. Here is what the tower looked like after the tornado. Since the eagle had already been relocated, it was not damaged. Many in the art world are thankful the sculpture was sold before it might have been destroyed. Today, you will take a quiz over some of the information in this video. Here's a little hint. If something is in bold letters, you will probably see that information again on the quiz that follows. In the coming weeks, we will create a sculpture in the style of a famous artist. Alexander Caldwell created large metal sculptures that resembled sleek animals. The eagle is a great example of this type of sculpture. He also created mobiles, which hang from the ceiling, and kinetic sculptures from wire and metal that move.